Hey everyone, so I finally got around to doing my prom video. Um, I have promised like 10 different girls that I would do one for them because prom season's coming up. I graduated a few years ago, so I'm trying to kind of rekindle the memories that I had from prom and makeup is such a big deal for prom. If you don't have it done correctly, um, it can really ruin a lot of stuff. For, so, a little bit. so I wanted you guys to know the correct way to apply what types to use for prom. So I'm doing a tutorial, um, but I'm also going to give you guys a few different like facts about makeup um, to kind of help you guys make the right decision as far as picking out colors for your eyes and colors for the dress that you picked out um, and different skin types and what makeup is going to make your skin look the most flawless because that's the number one goal for prom um, pictures is for your skin to look perfect and your makeup to look perfect and go with your dress and go with your hair. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, first off, I would like to say I got a few new products that I am using in this video. Um, I got this brush from Morphe. It is the Morphe G6. Like a G6. Like a G6. This is a really good foundation brush. It's a flat top kabuki brush. Um, so it gets all over your skin and this one's small so it like gets every little crevice of your skin and I'm loving it so far. It is by Morphe. They have good brushes for great prices. Definitely, definitely order from them um, for a good brush. Um, I also use two different lip options in this video. The first one is a nude look. I usually do this um, just so that people that don't like to go all out with their lips have a second choice and know what it looks like. So I got a nude. This is by... This is by Jordana. Um, it is called, what is it called? It's a mystery color. I think it's called Blush Matte or something like that. I forget, but it's by their matte lipstick line. Um, this is my new liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just got this in the mail and oh my God, I'm already in love with them. This is the one I'm wearing now. It is called Heathers. Um, so it goes on matte, but it has like a, a little doe foot wand, just like a lip gloss. Um, but it goes on like lipstick, so it goes on wet, and it dries um, completely matte. As you can see on my lips, it dries completely matte. And I also got um, one more color. I'm planning on getting many more colors because I love them so much. Um, this is Electric Coral, and it is just a gorgeous, bright, orangey red. Oh, my God. Let me swatch it for you. Oh, my gosh. This is just so pretty. And I'll go ahead and swatch Heather's, too, even though I'm wearing it, um, just so that you guys can kind of see the actual color um, so this is these are the colors um, the orange one I really got for the spring summer is right around the corner so can never be too prepared for that um, plus I just love lipstick and um, this is all of my lipstick in here it's a stupid amount and I have more on top of that too so that being said um, okay, so moving on to foundation. This, this is so important. I cannot stress it enough. If you use a foundation with SPF in it on prom, when you take a picture with a flash, which is going to happen because everybody takes prom pictures, your face is going to white out. It's going to turn bright white because the SPF in your foundation is reflecting off of the light and you're going to be washed out. So make sure, make sure, make sure that you are using a foundation with no SPF in it. Like something that says, like this is the one I use, Makeup Forever HD um, High Definition Foundation. So when it says HD or photo ready or camera perfect, picture perfect, I have the Smashbox photo finish, anything photo finish like that, it means there's going to be no SPF in it and it's perfect for taking pictures so it's not going to wash you out. Make sure because otherwise you're going to be the pale one in the group of pictures. Just nobody wants that. Also, um, as far as highlighting the face and uh, contouring and stuff like that, of course you want to do a little bit stronger on prom but just, just don't go all out because I promise you don't want to look like you have mud on your face either. So you definitely want to do a stronger contour, which I did in this video, so you'll see it. Um, but also highlight. Make sure that your highlight is even all throughout your face. So um, back to foundation. If you have oily skin, you need a completely matte foundation because that way you're not going to have any kind of oil coming through um, halfway through the night. You're going to need a completely matte foundation. So like this one that I have is the Magic Nude Liquid Powder. This dries completely matte and this has SPF in it so don't get this one but get one that finishes like this. Um, 
so that it will dry completely matte and you won't have any oil coming through and also even you you don't have to do this, but you can set it with a powder just to ensure everything is locked into place because that's what I would do if I had oily skin. I have natural, I have not natural, everyone has natural skin. I have normal skin, so I can either wear matte or something that with a dewy finish like this uh, Makeup Forever has sort of a dewy to matte finish. So it's kind of um, gives you that glow, which if you have oily skin will make you greasy throughout the day so definitely stick with matte if you have dry skin definitely go with something hydrating something with a dewier finish so that you have you don't have flakes and stuff if you use a matte foundation and you have a super dry skin you're gonna feel like you have a mask on and it's gonna start flaking off or it's gonna take all or it's gonna like what's the word like suck it <laughs> to your dry spots like I get dry right here sometimes and if you use a matte foundation it's going to really make that noticeable and flaky and you don't want that either um, if you have normal to combination skin you can really do either I would suggest doing something with a with a dewy finish and setting it with a powder so that it's nice and matte um, but you still have that natural glow, if that makes any sense. Um, I did not set my face with anything today as far as a powder. I just put on my primer, my foundation, and my bronzer and blush and highlight. And I didn't do anything. You can also spray with a MAC Prep and Prime or something of this nature. Um, this is going to give you, depending on how much you put on, either a dewy finish or it's going to make sure that your stuff is set all night, which I would definitely suggest. I'm not... I don't really care for today because I'm not going to prom, obviously, but, um, so I'm not going to spray this on me, but also use this on your brushes if you want to have a foiled look on your eye like this. I did that in this video too, so you'll be able to see that, um, if you're using a lot of, um, foil type eyeshadow. <laughs> um, so, moving on. What else did I get that was new? Oh, my Velour Lashes. Oh my god, I am obsessed with these. I don't know if it's the pair that I got or if they do this often, but mine started falling apart. And it's such a tragedy because these lashes are so beautiful. These are called Doll It Up. I'm sorry, Doll Me Up. Um, they are made out of 100% mink fur. Um, and note, side note, no minks work harmed in the making of this video in the making of these eyelashes so they take the minks and they brush the fur off of the mink and they use the fur and make the eyelashes they're not killing them or anything like that so I promise you I would not buy eyelashes if that were the case um, it's not worth it to me so these are so soft and the particular Brit the particular ones that I got are called doll me up they're more dramatic um, I'll come up a little bit closer and see if you can like they're just a little bit more dramatic, and I love them. Like, they're a little spacey. I like that. They look like doll, like little doll eyes. And I also got a pair of bottom lashes, and they are called Keep It on the Low, which they were originally the Kardashian. Um, they were originally called the Kardashian Bottom Lashes. I tried these on. They're super full on the bottom. I don't know when I'll be able to wear them as I don't go anywhere where it's, like, that dramatic. Um, but I'm sure that I will find an excuse to wear those because I'm just dying to use them. Oh, I remember the last thing I got. Um, it's another brush by Morphe. It is similar to the MAC 220, I believe. Um, it's a blending brush, but it is kind of flat um, on the sides. It's, it's kind of flat, but it gets in your crease really well. I used it in the in this video. It gives you a flawless seamless eyeshadow look. I'm loving this brush. 100% loving it. <clears throat> so I have my little guide for reference because sometimes I forget which color is opposite on the color wheel. But that being said, um, if you have blue eyes, you are going to want to use kind of browns. Um, it's going to bring out your eye color. So that's kind of what I did in this video. I really did something to bring out my eyes, which are hazel, and it's kind of hard because it's kind of a mix between brown. It's kind of a mix between brown and green. So I I just did what I liked. It's got a red tint. Um, red is also a good choice for blue eyes. If you have green eyes, you are going to want to go the opposite of the gr on the green, the opposite. How am I, what am I trying to say? On the color wheel, the opposite of green is purple. So 
purples, any kind of purples or purple blues or um, a red purple will bring out your eyes. I did a simple technique in this video with my favorite colors. So I wanted you guys to kind of take my techniques as far as blending and color, like fading the colors to whatever, um, so that you guys could take the color that matches your eyes and do it on your eyes if that makes any sense at all. So I did a simple technique as far as a base color and then putting a color in the crease and kind of an outer outer corner color um, and just blending it all out. And then I used a metallic color on my lid. Take whatever color shadow brings that brings out your eyes and do this technique and you can do it with any colors. Um, so that's kind of what I did in this video. The good thing about this look is that these colors can pretty much look good on every kind of skin tone and eye color and it will look good with all color dresses because it's pretty neutral for the most part. You guys can do the same thing that I did or you can take the technique that I use and put your own colors to it and do the same thing on your eye. Bring out your eye color, bring out the color in your dress. If you want your eyes to pop, then it all depends on what colors you're using. Green eyes, purple eyeshadows. Um, blue eyes, bright, brown eyeshadows, and brown eyes, green eyeshadows. That's so confusing. So if you have um, like a browner, if you have brown eyes, you can either do like a greenish blue or just like a darker navy blue, something like that will bring your eyes out. So if you have green eyes, you're going to do purple to blue or purple to red, if that makes any sense. So, um, and if you have blue eyes, it's going to be brown shadows. So a brown to red or a brown to green shadow, um, any of those will bring out your eyes. And so green eyes, purple um, eyeshadows, blue eyes, brown eyeshadows, and brown eyes, blue eyeshadows. Okay. So I think I got that across pretty well. So um, I hope that this was informational. I hope I didn't leave anything out. And if you have any questions, just ask me below and I promise you I will answer them. Um, this video is, it's kind of difficult to explain to everyone with different eye colors because there's so many eye colors and everything in between. And I only am, I'm only an expert at doing myself. So I know my skin, I know my coloring, I know my eye color and my eye shape and it's just so many different characteristics on the face that will change what kind of makeup you use and what colors and stuff like that so i understand if you're confused um and it's okay because it's a learning experience so if you guys have any questions at all let me know down below and i hope everybody has an amazing prom night and make good decisions and stay safe because Trust me, you don't want anything going wrong on prom. Prom is something that you want to remember forever. So definitely, definitely keep that in mind. And stay safe. Uh, make good decisions. Help out your friends. And uh, dance your butts off. <laughs> First, as always, I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and applying it all over my face. This is also a good step to help your pictures look flawless. Next, I'm taking my Professional Pore Filler by Benefit. And I'm applying it in the places where my pores are the largest. I'm going to apply my Makeup Forever HD foundation all over my face. And this is a good option for prom because it's going to leave you with a flawless finish and not white it out in the pictures. I'm taking my Morphe G6 brush um, and applying this all over my face. It's a great brush to help save your product because it's not taking anything from you. It's just kind of pushing it all around. And I did decide to add um, a little bit more foundation for extra coverage. If you have acne or anything like that, you might want to do just an additional layer just, just in case. And I do realize that my foundation is not the same color as my face, but it is the same color as my neck, um, which is fake tan, so that is going to be most important. And as always, we're taking my NC15 Pro Long Wear Concealer by MAC and applying it in triangle forms under my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, and on my chin. And also, as always, <laughs> taking my Wet Beauty Blender and blending all of that in so that there are no lines and everything is evenly highlighted. And to make sure that my concealer is not going to crease and it's not going to smudge or go anywhere tonight, I am setting it with my Banana Powder by Anastasia Beverly Hills and a tapered highlighting brush.
I usually use a little small blush brush to apply my contour, but I've been reaching for this angled contour brush by Sigma a lot lately, and I've been really liking it. So I applied all three of my bronzers mixed together from my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, and I've been applying that underneath my cheekbones. I'm doing it a little bit stronger for the occasion today. And remember that you really want to bronze your whole face um, just to make sure that everything is even. Don't dust it all over your whole face, but get the specific areas. You can just see what I did here. Here I mixed my MAC Gingerly with my Becca Topaz Highlight, and I love the way that it turned out. Even though I use the gold highlight mixed with my blush, it's a very subtle kind of shimmer in my blush. So I still felt that it was necessary to use a highlight on the tops of my cheekbones. Um, so you're just going to dust that kind of on the high points of your face. Now taking a fluffy E40 blending brush by Sigma, I'm taking that light brown color and I'm kind of just dust it over my um, crease area for my transition shade. I'm taking my new favorite blending brush by Morphe in a mauvish purple shade and applying it in my crease with uh, my brush kind of tilted upwards so that it does all the blending for me. And I am going to drag this out um, towards the corner of my eye a little further than normal just for more of a dramatic effect. Now I'm taking a dark brown with that same blending brush and I'm adding it just to the outer corner of my eye to kind of make it look a little more smoky. I'm going to spray a concealer brush with my MAC Fix Plus so that when I pick up the champagne shimmery shadow it's going to go on my eye nice and opaque. So I'm going to pack that on until it's the opaqueness, if you will, that I want. Now I'm going to take a flat definer brush by Sigma and take a black eyeshadow and kind of just smoke out the lash line so that I can hide the lash band that I'm going to be putting there um, in just a second. If you decide not to wear false lashes, you can skip this step. I decided to take a liquid eyeliner and kind of make a really tiny line really close to my lash line just to hide the lash band even more. And we're going to, of course, add mascara before we put on our false lashes just to make sure that you don't have your eyelashes, like, sticking out. I'm taking my Duo Lash Glue in the color Clear, and it goes on white, but it will dry clear. I'm applying it all over my new Velour Lashes in the style Doll Me Up, and you're going to want to let it dry for at least 30 seconds before you try to apply it so that it gets tacky and it's easy to work with. Now I'm taking a pencil brush and picking up the same shade I used as my transition shade and I'm going to dust that all underneath my lash line to start smoking it out. Taking the same pencil brush, I'm going to grab a darker mauve shade and smoke out the bottom lash line until it is as smoky as I want it. And to intensify this eye look even more, I'm going to put a black eyeliner in my waterline and a little bit on my actual lash line so that we can smudge that out as well. And like I said, we're going to smudge the black eyeliner as well to make this more intense.
To finish off the eyes, we're going to add some lower mascara to really open up the eyes since we do have so much darkness going on. For the first lip option, I'm adding my MAC Lip Pencil in the color Whirl along with my Jordana Matte Nude Lipstick. And this is going to be for a, um, a nice soft look. And this is the first option completely finished. And for the second option, I'm taking my MAC Half Red Lip Pencil and applying it all over my lips as a base because the Anastasia lip, uh, Liquid Lipstick that I'm going to be using is a little bit drying and I want to have the extra moisture on my lips. So I'm after that, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the color Heathers and applying that on my lips um, on top of the Half Red Lip Pencil. And this is a very dark, intense color, but I absolutely love it. And I know that I have my girls out there that will love this darker look. 